Welcome to the last video in this series. In this video, I'm going to teach you about requests, about CSRF protection, which is cross-site request forgery protection, and then we'll just wrap a few things up. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, a request is simply whenever you submit a form from a web page and it makes a request to your server. Then we need to be able to know how to handle that request. Uh, let's say that that request we want to get the input type of like a user name whenever somebody types in a login form or any kind of text box. So let's go back to our example application and let's go to app and HTTP routes.php. Now let's go ahead and just create a new route and we're going to create this outside of this route group middleware web but like we said before this is where you actually will want to store all of your routes. Uh, right now we just stored it outside of the web middleware because we wanted to talk about what the web middleware was before we put all of our code inside of it. So let's go ahead and do one more outside of this route. We'll just call this form. And after we show you an example of this, then we'll also put these routes inside of the this middleware and then show you what that middleware allows us to do. So route get form and let's return a view just called form. So let's save that and go back to our resources views and let's add a new file here so let's just save this as form.blade.php and let's add a basic html page just call this form and add a simple form right here form action equals let's post this to just a route called post to me let's give it a method of a post Okay, and let's create a input type of text and just say that we want to get somebody's name. So we will say placeholder equals enter your name. Okay, and then we also need our submit button. So we can save that and let's go to this post to me route. So we will need to add a new post route. So we'll just say route post post to me. Okay. And inside of here, we'll simply just echo out something. We hit this post. Let's save that. Let's go to our localhost 8000 slash form. And let's enter in a name, John Doe. And click on submit. And sure enough, we then get, we hit this post. And that's simple enough. We just had a form that submitted to this post route. But now let's say that we wanted to retrieve that name. Okay, well we would actually need to use a request object and I'm going to go into a controller and customer controller. Typically this is where all of our requests will be made. We'll be storing all of our functionality for our requests inside of a controller, which is why we have this illuminate HTTP request namespace. So we say that we want to use the request object, but since we're not in a controller, I will need to actually add this in, in the file so we can use the request object. So I could say request and then I could say dollar sign request. And now I have access to our request that we get from the form. So I could say in this request, I want to get the input that has a name of name. So let's go back to our page and our form and John Smith and click on submit and sure enough it will submit to the page and then we have captured that request input. So that's just the very basics of how you can use the request object and there's a lot of stuff that you will find inside of the Laravel documentation. If you just search for requests you can see here that we can get different types of input as well as the request path like the current URL that we were at. We can check if this is a certain request. Uh, the URL and you can see here we can check what kind of method that we've received and this is the request input that we actually just talked about and there are so many other things the request can also accept files so you can upload images and multiple of other things. So let's go back to teaching you about CSRF which is the protection that Laravel provides for you. So this will prevent any hackers from being able to submit stuff to a post route because they will not have a valid token. So let me go ahead and show you what I'm talking about here. So let me add all of our routes that we just created to this web middleware. 
Let me save this and let's go back to our localhost 8000 slash form. I'll just say new name and I'll click on submit. And we get this error that says token mismatch exception, verify CSRF token. So it's basically throwing us back an error and saying, oh, we did not verify a token. So we're not going to allow this request to come through. So what we can do in this case is then go back to our form and we need to add a hidden input. So we'll say input type equals hidden and the name will be underscore token. And then the value will be a helper function that we get from Laravel, which is called CSRF token. And now if we save this and we go back to our form route, if I could spell back to our form route and just type in John Jacobs and click on submit. Now you can see we do not get that error because we have verified that a token on the client side matches a token on the server side. And that is just a level of security that would take a long time to write. But thanks to Laravel, they already give us that built in security. So that was just the very basics of requests and CSRF token. You can read up about it a lot more at the Laravel documentation. I would definitely recommend making this a number one resource to look through. There are so many great explanations of every piece of Laravel. So from one developer to another, I would recommend staying on this path to learning Laravel. It actually helped me become a better PHP developer. Laravel is one of the best frameworks that I've ever worked with. And um, I hope that you learned something through all of these video series. And I will talk to you guys later.